All right, so let's write some content in Gemini. Google Gemini, I don't think I've created any content with this, but I wanna start exploring some of these other large language models. And the reason why I would wanna do this is because when we come over here and hover over, we have almost 300 million people that are using Gemini. And all I've talked about on this channel is Claude and ChatGBT. So I wanna see what else is out there. So join me, let's see if we can create a really cool blog article. Now, if you guys would want me to try out the Gemini Advanced, if we come I'm going to hover over here. You can actually see the uh, advanced version. It's $19.99 per month. You actually can sign up for a free trial for 30 days. It's actually $0 and then they would bill you $19.99. It does come with a lot of perks and so forth. I'm not sure if this Google advanced uh, gives you an, an additional better version higher than 2.5 Pro that's only available to paid members. But right now this video is about 2.5 Pro that just got released. So you wanna make sure that you go up here and you change the model that you're going to be using. Another couple of things that I did in my research was I came over here and I said, hey, is it better to turn Canvas on or off when you're creating blog posts? It says in general, use the new Gemini Canvas is uh, generally better to have on because it provides a collaborative space to generate, refine, and share content offering features like quick editing tools, tone adjustments, and ability to export to Google Docs. If you have a team and so forth, then this would work great, but I think that not having Canvas on will also work if you just want to get something created very quickly. And then finally, we'll come over here and look Here's the release notes that just came out about five to eight days ago. The 2.5 Pro experimental version, it's just rolled out about a week ago. Gemini web and mobile app available, qualifying workspace business education plans. And so it does look like the experimental is even higher. They don't really share what is better about it. But this experimental model is meant to be a early preview and can have an unexpected behaviors and may make uh, some mistakes. So, but they are shipping out the most updated version, latest versions to the paid members is what it looks like, but you still get access to 2.5 Pro on the free account. And you can say that Canvas was just released a couple of weeks ago as well. So we'll be testing out some new stuff that Gemini 2.5 Pro is uh, has just launched out. Now, you can see up here that it actually says experimental right here. So I believe that we're using the latest version. And so it's really more about if you come down here and to get the advanced, I'll just click on it real quick. You'll be able to see what you actually get if you did upgrade. Um, there's that $0 for the first month, then nineteen ninety a month after. So with the most capable models, but I believe we're using the most capable models. So that one, it, I'm not really sure if that is the reason to use it. Priority access to new features, experience a 1 million token context window. So that's where all that's going to start coming in. And then also included is the Gemini and you get to use it in Gmail docs, a notebook LM plus. I don't know what that is. If you guys want me to, you know, subscribe to this and start doing more tutorials. Notebook LM is insane and what they gave away for free was just mind boggling. But if there's a plus version, I imagine that you would be able to add more than the 20 docs and all kinds of good stuff. Um, so that would be something that I would want to look into as well. And then the two terabytes of storage, I already pay for some a service for Google to get two terabytes of storage. So I'm wondering if I can um, somehow have this connected to my current account. I already pay about $15 a month, but this one's $20 a month, right? So this would just unlock another two terabytes of uh, storage space for me. I don't think that that would be related to the other account that I'm using. So let's get started. We need a good prompt. We need a keyword. So I went and found a website over here. It's called promptadvanced.club. They're giving all these great SEO prompts that we could use. And it's literally specifically created for Google Gemini right here. So we can uh, generate an article outline. We can also do one I want to try over here, write blog post in one go. So you have this entire prompt right here as an, uh, as an expert in writing, engaging SEO optimized blog posts. Your task is to craft a comprehensive 2000 token long article based on the provided outline of the blog post should meticulously be researched and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's great, but we do need an outline. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come back up here and I'm going to generate an outline right here. And then there's based on the given title. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. We'll go in to Gemini. And then what we'll do is we will paste this in. And then I do need to 
go over here to the title. We literally just need the title. So I need to go over and get a keyword real quick. So I'm gonna go over here to Uber Suggest. I found a keyword right here. And it is keto diet with no gallbladder. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that right there. And we're gonna come back in here and I'm going to just say that that's the title. We might adjust the title later, but let's go and put that in right there and then push go right there. So, I mean, of course, it's a lot like using a Claude AI. It's a lot like using ChatGPT. Um, I would say it has some pretty decent graphics and the user interface and so forth. We can also go and change it to dark mode. I think it's under settings. We could change this dark theme right here and you can look at it that way as well. I might just go ahead and leave it on light for today. So, okay, here is an SEO optimized article outline for the topic. And we have article title suggestion. So that's where it actually gives us the title, Keto Diet with No Gallbladder, Your Ultimate Success Guide, or Navigating the Keto Diet. Or it's giving us another one, Navigating the Keto Diet After Gallbladder Removal. So we have our meta title, all the stuff. It has the title, the target audience, all this stuff. So we have article outline right here. So I'm going to go ahead and... That is SEO enhancement notes, but what I think what we'll do is we will just go, there's an inter, it's telling us an internal link right there. I'm going to go ahead and skip that part, but we'll just go and grab this outline, really big outline right over here. So I'm going to take that outline, I'm going to paste it in a notepad right there because we need to go back and also now that we have an outline, come back over here and write blog post in one go. So we will go and copy this one and we'll go back into Gemini. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this prompt in right here. One thing that's a little annoying is this little box right here. It's kind of hard to see everything that, especially if you have this long prompt right here, right? You only have this small window right here and you have to kind of scroll down. So it'd be nice to be able to kind of see your whole prompt, kind of the way that Claude does all on one kind of screen instead of having to scroll up and search for things and so forth. So just little things like that, that I notice, but all we need to do is provide the outline. So I'm going to say right here, the outline, the outline is pasted below. And so right here, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do a shift return. I'm going to say, here is the article outline. And I'm going to go like that. And then what we'll do is we'll go grab that outline right over here. Control A, copy, come back in here and paste that in. So it does take that entire text window right there. So that's great. We have a canvas turned on and let's go. Now let's see what we can get right over here, guys. Let's see what Gemini 2.5 Pro experimental has to offer. So now it kicks it out into this canvas type area right here. And you can see it's writing very fast. It is in markdown format, keto diet with no gallbladder, your ultimate success guide. So it does have like our made it title suggestion right here. Uh, so this part up here, obviously you're not going to put it that in. You're not going to paste that into your website, obviously. The keto diet ketogenic diet with its high fat, low carbohydrate approach has surged in popularity for its potential benefits ranging from weight loss to improved metabolic health markers. But if you're one if you're one of the many individuals living with an out of gallbladder, you might be wondering, can and this right here, is that an eye? It's kind of like in a it's in a italic. I'm not sure why they're italicizing like you and I. That's kind of interesting. But can I successfully follow a keto, keto diet with no gallbladder? So, so far, I mean, it's writing really, really well. Let's scroll through here. Now, it's saying recommendation include a simple diagram here illustrating the liver gallbladder so it doesn't create the image for us inside of here. It's not creating the image, but it did give us all these image prompts that we would now be able to go and use Midjourney, Ideogram, ChatGPT now because it's good at images. And we would be able to go and spend some more time on here, especially if you have an assistant that you could train them to be able to do this. So it's not going to be like an all-in-one tool like SEO writing AI. Stick with me. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing an updated review, hopefully on that tool or possibly next week. Okay. But 
you're going, to, it's not going to be able to create the images for us right here. We're going to need to go and paste these in and so forth. So it also has an internal link suggestion and so forth. So we could go and prompt this and say, Hey, we don't want internal link uh, suggestions. We don't want the images so that we just have what we need in here. What was that disclaimer that we saw a second ago? Um, we do have lists in here as well. I don't see a table. Possibly there is a frequently asked questions section right there, which is great. A conclusion. What's your next step? What we could do is we could also say, can you create a table for, and let's just for fun, let's do this one right over here for this section. For this section here, we'll paste that in and let's see if it can create tables. Okay, I can definitely reformat that section in the canvas into a table for better better readability. Here is the updated article with the food guide section uh, presented as a table. So it's going to go ahead and fix that for us right now. So it's kind of doing this like from like art, the way that artifacts work. I'm pretty sure they all these major tools have this feature. Claude has it. I believe ChatGPT has it now. And then now, and then they're, they're mostly just calling it Canvas. Most of them are calling it Canvas. So I love it did it in, in, in real live format. Claude is really good at that as well. So now we have our nice table right there. So really, really liking this. Let's go back up to the top and there is our, it starts right here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy the whole thing as we go down. What's your next step? Ready to start your modified keto journey. So that whole thing is right there. I'm going to copy this and we're going to go into word counter real quick. I want to go back just to make sure I'm not missing anything count exports. Yeah, I don't see it, but we can export this to docs and we could easily get the word count inside of docs, which is cool. I'm just going to copy this uh, and paste that in under my word counter. And it wrote easily wrote a 2,471 word article. So just right off the bat, this is very, very impressive. Claude has come a long way and I was able to get about a 1400, 1500 word article written in one go uh, with Claude, but that was just recently up until that point. I couldn't with ChatGPT or Claude, I couldn't get more than about an 800 word article in one go. This is my first attempt at using Gemini. I know it's been around for a while, but I was overall extremely impressed with the fact that it can write a 2,400 word article, it over delivered for us. We asked it to do a 2,000 word article, but we do need to take into account all this recommendation right there. So let's just go see if we can prompt it real quick to do that as well. We could come down and we could just say, please remove all image prompts and suggestion and internal link suggestions and external link suggestions. Keep only the article that will be published. So we're going to go like that. It's going to do its thing. And then we're going to go and we'll actually test out what the readability score is in Hemingway. So, okay. So I'll remove all the bracketed suggestions for images, internal links, and the meta information from the article content. Here's the updated cleaned up version ready for publishing, but it's not done. You've got to kind of look up here at this circle will status right here, and then it will finally give you, Hey, we removed all this stuff right over here. So now we could go and actually take the article. Let's see, where are we at? It's good so far. I'm not seeing any of the images. This would be a lot better. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and grab this right here and copy that back to word counter and see it should read be a read the words and it reduced it by about 100 and 150 words so we're at 2300 words right there so i want to also take that come over here and paste this in and see where we're at so we're at a grade 11 we want to grade aim for grade 9 or less so some other things can you make this let's go over here can can you okay so we're going to prompt it we'll be right back I want to come over here and test out the words again. Every time we make a change, so now we've reduced the words a little bit more. We're at 2100 words. I'll go into Hemingway, Control A, Delete, and paste that in. 
And wow, we have a grade six right over here. So it's able to follow instructions really, really well at improving the uh, content quality score and the readability score. Uh, the keto diet is very popular right now. It's a way of, cre of eating. It's high in fat and low in carbs. People use it for things like losing weight and improving their health. But what if you don't have a gallbladder? Can you still do the keto? So, I mean, so far, this looks really, really good. You can also use this tool to identify some of the harder sentences, longer sentences, go and improve them and so forth. But overall, really nice 2000 word article right there. This is my first time and first crack at you. Gemini. I'm going to do more tutorials and more experiments. I probably should go and post this, see if we can get some of this content ranking and so forth, because I like to kind of look and see based on proof and if things actually can rank and work. Uh, some of the advantages, obviously, that this is in one go. This wrote an impressive article that so far, just um, you know, glancing through it, it is reading really well. It's able to follow instructions very quickly when we ask it to make changes to the content. And it was a nice, lengthy, over 2,000 word article. So, very, very impressive from that standpoint. Probably the best that I've seen out there. Um, this definitely beats ChatGPT and Claude when it comes to length and possibly might be a better writer than those two for this use case. Some of the you know cons would be that it doesn't create images like some of the other tools. I'm, I believe that ChatGPT will be able to create images. I'm not sure on the go while writing a blog post. Let's see right over here. Can you create three images for this blog post? It should be able to, I'm thinking, right? So something went wrong. You've reached your limit. Okay, so we've reached our limit. So this is the reason why you would want to get that upgrade. We can't prompt it any further right now, but just stay tuned. I'm going to do some more. I'll probably go ahead and just subscribe so I can make those videos and not be limited. One of the great things about you know tuning into LearnWire is that I'm a pro subscriber to Claude AI, a pro subscriber to ChatGPT. I'll probably pick up this Gemini as well. And then possibly picking up, I, I haven't ran into any limitations yet on perplexity on the, the I use it on a daily basis, uh, but usually I'm able to prompt it, you know, three to five times per day. And I usually get the research done that I need. But if I, for sure, if I started doing more tutorials on perplexity, I probably would need to get a, a subscription as well. And they all are kind of, you know, mimicking each other when it comes to the pricing. It seems like $20 per month is the sticking point. And that's where every all these major LLMs have just kind of copied each other and said, hey, I don't want to overprice or underprice. I just want to price exactly what you know ChatGPT and Claude did. So everyone's doing $20 per month. Let me know if you guys want more reviews and tutorials like this. Um, I kind of want to expand and just kind of have some fun experiments with this stuff and not just do software reviews. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.